The Python lift is, rather than the circular touch, it is a lifting touch. And when I do it, you may not see very much. And that's why we do it on each other and get it the experience of it, because the feel of it is very different to what it looks like. It looks like nothing. In fact, you bear, often don't even see movement. But when you feel it, it's quite um, intense. It can be quite an intense thing. Um, and what we're doing is just supporting the skin upwards a little bit, just as far as it's happy to go, pausing and holding it there, and then supporting it back down again. So it's not a kind of lift drop, it's a support up and then support back down. So if we start here, we just have the thumbs pointing upwards, your hands so I'll do it the other side for you guys in a second. So thumbs pointing upwards, hands round the, the area you're going to lift. And this would be on the dog, obviously, quite, you might just be using parts of your hands if you've got small legs like you would have on this thing. Um, so we just cup hands round and then lift, pause, port down. <laughs> then lift, pause, support down. It's a really slow support down. Lift, pause, support down. And then we kind of go down to the bottom. We often do it on limbs, on the dog's legs. You can do it on a giddy dog to try and just sort of grounding them a little bit. If you've got dogs that are stiff in a particular area, so if they've got stiff limbs, you could do it for that. So it's, it releases some of the tension. They're stiff in the shoulder. And one thing that we often do is do it with one hand. And just, you know, I was saying before on the shoulder, I would do the abalone. And then I would add a lift. Well, I would add the sort of python lift, but one-handed. So I would do my abalone. And then I would just do a lift at the end of it. Pause. And then carry that back. It's a great one for grounding, as Andrea said. It just makes the legs feel more uh, connected to the ground. And it's quite relaxing. For most dogs, it is always bearing in mind, whatever we do with the dogs, we are observing them, we're looking at their reactions, we're seeing if they're trying to get away, and we're not forcing any of this on.